Today we're going to be making stuffed bell peppers. We're gonna start making our um, meat filling for the peppers. What you need to do is just get your skillet kind of nice and hot, maybe on medium high heat. Okay, you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. And here you guys can use any kind of oil that you like. I know it's kind of big right now to use avocado oils and um, coconut oils and things like that. That's all fine here too. We've got our pound of ground beef going into the pot. All you wanna do here is just make sure you get it nice and browned up. And at this point, I kind of like to season my beef right here so that we make sure we get um, lots of flavor. Just a good pinch of salt. Okay, I like to sometimes let my meat um, kind of sit in the pan for a little bit so it gets kind of like nice and really brown. So I'm not always constantly stirring it. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, my meat is getting nice and browned but it's not completely cooked just yet. So at this point, this is when I like to add my vegetables. So I'm going to add in um, one white onion that I've just kind of roughly chopped up and one green bell pepper. It doesn't have to be green, you can add any of the colors that you want. Hey, this is another good time, you guys, that if you're trying to sneak in vegetables on your kids, you could add in carrots and celery. It's your recipe, right? And you can make it however you want to. Now I'm gonna add in the garlic. And like I said, we love garlic in my house. So I would say probably maybe two cloves of garlic, but I can't lie, I probably added three or four. So now my meat is really getting um, nice and browned. And now my vegetables are starting to soften. And when I say soften, I mean like my onions are going from like really, really white to more clear. The bell peppers have started to go from that kind of hard green look to more of a, a bright green, which means they've cooked down a good bit, but they still have a crunch. So now I'm going to add in my rice cauliflower. Or if you made the rice, you'd add the rice right now. I don't know if I used a big enough pan, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. So we're just gonna mix all this in, give it a minute to Get yummy and delicious together. And now I wanna give it a taste because like I said, I've been layering my flavors with my salt and my pepper. Um, but I wanna make sure now that I've, I've kinda got a, a gauge on um, where my flavors are at. So I'm gonna give this a good little taste. Let's see where we're at. Before I add in my tomato sauce because that's got a little bit of salt to it because it's acidic with the tomatoes. So I wanna know where I'm at first before I add that layer. Mm. Okay, we're really good. The rice cauliflower is still nice and crunchy. My vegetables have still a good crunch to them, so it's really good. So now's the time for me to add my tomato sauce, but I am going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper because it, there's, it's still just a little bit bland for me and my taste, so I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning. But I can always add more as I go. But right now, I think we still need just a little bit more flavor. My road to flavor town just isn't going fast enough for me. So I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit, more to like a medium low. I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. Now I have a whole can, like a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, but I'm not gonna add all of it right now. I'm gonna add probably three quarters of it because I wanna just see how my consistency gets. I don't want it too soupy because my bell peppers still need to be nice and, and hearty and hold together. So I'm not gonna add all of it right now. Whenever I added my tomato sauce, it kind of brought that, that delicious sizzle down. Now, two things happened. One, I turned my fire down, but two, I added in a cold substance into my uh, mixture, my hot mixture. So it brought down the temperature a little bit. Don't freak out, okay? I know I used to do this when I started out cooking. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to bring the fire back up. No, just let your temperature come back up, okay? And it will. Just give it time, be patient. So while my delicious filling is over there just simmering and getting all happy and flavorful, I'm gonna start prepping my 
bell peppers for us to stuff. So all you're going to do is you're just going to stand it up on its end and just slice straight down the center. So you're just going to take out this big white chunk right here and just peel it out. Just take your hands, just take out the center. Okay. So now you have an empty hole, a big empty hole for you to put all of that delicious filling in. Now, right now I'm just getting out the seeds. It's not imperative because they're not spicy. Um, bell peppers are not spicy. They're just amazingly flavorful and full of vitamin C. Okay. So look at that. That's a big hole for all that delicious filling. So I'm just going to prep the rest of these and get them ready for my filling. And I'll check back with you. This is also where I would bring my kids in because they like to take the tops off and get all the seeds out. This one recipe will probably stuff seven bell peppers, which is 14 halves. So now let's start the most fun part, stuffing the bell peppers. And this is a great place for your kids to jump in and help you because they love stuffing the bell peppers and we love getting our kids involved. So that just makes them feel more a part of your cooking. So just take a big old scoop and stuff it down in there. And it doesn't really matter how much you put into each bell pepper. Just get it down in there. If you want more, add more. And it gets a little messy, but that's okay. We're cooking. It doesn't have to be perfect. Another way to serve these, which is how my mom usually did it when I was a kid, she usually served them whole, meaning like she would just keep the bell pepper whole and then she would just cut off the top and take out the insides like I showed you earlier. And then she would stuff the whole bell pepper. So that's another pretty way to serve it if you wanted to do it that way. So then everyone would get a whole bell pepper stuffed in the top. So now, this is the leftover tomato sauce. Remember earlier I said I'm going to use some of the can and I put it into the mixture, but I didn't want to use all of it because I just wanted to see what the consistency would be. So this is my leftover sauce. Okay. I'm going to put the sauce on each bell pepper as kind of like a glue for our cheese. Okay. So now I'm just going to top each bell pepper with a little bit of tomato sauce. Don't worry about these ones that are kind of tilted over. I'm gonna show you a little trick for those. So now we've got the tomato sauce down on our bell pepper, so our cheese is ready to stick to the top, okay? So like I told you a second ago, um, don't worry about these ones that are kind of tilted over. Um, you can prop them up together so that they will stand up so your cheese doesn't melt all off because the best part's gonna be some of the cheese, right? So I've just got a bunch of mozzarella cheese here. Um, I would say probably two, two and a half, three cups. Okay. Um, but we're cheesy. The more cheese, the better to us. So I'm just going to sprinkle it all on top. I mean, this recipe just keeps getting better and better, right? All oh, the cheese. Look at that. Beautiful, right? We could eat this right now. It's so pretty. Okay. So now we're going to put this pan into a 325, 325 degree oven for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. Just keep your eye on it because basically we just want the cheese to melt. Everything's cooked. We just want some good melty cheese. Okay, so into the oven. Let's get these things melty. Oh. There we go. Check back. Okay, so these are out of the oven and they still look bright and beautiful. The cheese is melted. How melty the cheese is. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. Be sure and check out my other social media channels at In the Kitchen with Courtney. If you like my mom's videos, then please subscribe to her channel or press the like button.